welcome you all to the new session of computer graphics today we will be learning about polygon filling algorithms there are two types of polygon filling algorithms they are boundary fill and flood fill algorithms out of these two first we will be learning about boundary fill algorithm this boundary fill algorithm can be used to color a region any region can be colored using this boundary fill algorithm let us see how we can do that now as i said we need a region to be colored so for that first we have to draw a closed region using any color okay so first we have to draw a closed region using any color so let me draw this figure like this so i have drawn a closed figure we are using which color using a blue color okay now this blue is the color of the boundary so i have used a color to draw this figure now what I have to do now select an interior point interior point means any point which lies inside the region is called an interior point okay now i have labeled it as x comma y why i have labeled it as x comma y see when the picture is drawn on a screen this is how it looks like now you can select any point inside this closed region whichever point you select that point will belong to a particular row and a particular column you can select any point inside this closed region whichever point you will be selecting that point belongs to a particular column and a particular row so the interior point of this closed region have to be specified as x comma y which means this point belongs to a particular column x and the same point belongs to a particular row y so we have already specified two things one we have drawn a figure using a boundary color and now we have selected an interior point now what we have to do once a pixel or a point is selected we have to get the color of that pixel how can we get the color of the pixel using the function get pixel so what does it mean get pixel of xy means get the color of the pixel x comma y so after selecting a pixel or a point next we have to get the color of the pixel using this function and the color of the pixel is stored in the variable color clear so all together we have done three things after drawing the picture using a boundary color select a pixel and once a pixel is selected find the color of the pixel now check if the color of the pixel does not match with the boundary color if the color of the pixel does not match with the boundary color only then fill the pixel using fill color here according to our example boundary color is blue and fill color is red so each time when i select a pixel from the region each time when i select a pixel from the region and then i have to find the color of the pixel if the color of the selected pixel does not match with the boundary color only then fill it with new that means uh, fill it with the fill color that means if the pixel's color is not equal to blue then fill it with red so you have to repeat the process again and again in all directions so boundary fill algorithm selects all the pixels inside this region one by one and for each pixel it finds the color and the color of the pixel is matched with the boundary color if the pixel's color does not matches the matches with the boundary color only then it will be filled with fill color so this is how the algorithm is written first you have to draw a closed region using a boundary color then you have to select an interior point that lies inside the region then you have to find the color of that selected pixel and if the color of the pixel does not match with the boundary color only then only then you have to fill the pixel with fill color 
according to our example each time you will select a pixel if the color of the pixel is not equal to blue then color of the pixel will be set equal to red this is how boundary fill algorithm works it is a simple algorithm which is used to fill the interior region using a color okay now the second algorithm is flood fill algorithm flood fill algorithm is quite different flood fill algorithm is used for repainting repainting means you are coloring the region again a region is there which is already colored and this algorithm can be used to change the color of interior pixels to some new color okay now suppose this is a closed region which is already colored using a blue color now i can use this algorithm to replace the color of all the pixels inside this region from blue to some new color okay so what does it do it is used for repainting repainting a region now this region is already colored okay with some color and the earlier color can be represented as old color so flood fill can be used to replace old color with a new color okay now let us see how it works to implement flood fill algorithm also we need a region a closed region once you have drawn a closed region next you have to fill the interior region with a color that means you have to fill the interior portions with some color and now using this algorithm we will be replacing color of each pixel to some new color okay and let us see how it works once the figure is drawn and the interior regions are colored using some old color we have to select an interior point just as we selected it for boundary fill algorithm now this is an interior point which lies exactly inside the closed region and it is represented by x comma y because that selected point belongs to a particular column and a particular row once a point or a pixel is selected using get pixel of xy function we can find the color of the pixel xy so once a pixel is selected you have to find the color of the pixel and the color of the pixel is stored in the variable color what we have to do we have already taken a pixel and we have the color of the pixel now match the color if the color of the pixel matches with old color okay then replace it with new color so this is what you have to do draw a figure fill the interior portions of the figure with some color and this color is stored in the variable old color and the color which is used to repaint can be stored in the variable new color okay so each time you will select a pixel and then find the color of the pixel check if the color of the pixel matches with old color only if both of them match if the color of the pixel is old color then replace it with new color this is repeated for all the pixels inside the region okay until all the pixels are replaced from old color to new color the algorithm will work repeatedly so this is how these two algorithms work flood fill and boundary fill now in both these cases i said that uh, after selecting a pixel you have to uh, select another pixels or neighboring pixels and this algorithm needs to be proceeded uh, in a circular fashion in all neighboring pixels you have to select pixels one by one how these pixels can be selected so for selecting pixels we use two techniques uh, it is known as four connected method and eight connected method so there are two methods using which you can select the pixels inside the uh, closed region okay now first let me teach you what is this four connected method let's have a closer look at this figure okay let this be our closed region and 
this be our selected pixel represented by x comma y this be the selected pixel whichever may be the algorithm whether the algorithm is boundary fill algorithm or it may be a flood fill algorithm in both these algorithm we have to select a center pixel x y after selecting a pixel after coloring this pixel we have to select next pixel so how we can select next pixels for coloring so in four connected method we say the next pixels selected for coloring can be in four directions that is once a pixel is selected next pixel is to be selected from the left that is this one that is it, it was the selected pixel and next pixel to be selected is the one which lies to the left of this pixel then you have to select the pixel which lies at the right of the pixel and then you have to select the pixel which lies at the top of the pixel and then you have to select the pixel which lies the bottom of the pixel so four neighboring pixels can be selected in four connected method using four connected method four neighboring pixels are selected that is first selected pixel was at position x comma y after that you can select a pixel which is at the left of the pixel then at the right of the pixel then at the top of the pixel and then at the bottom of the pixel let us see how we can label them what is the name of this pixel name of this is x comma y the name of this pixel means same row but column one less than this so if this column is x name of this column will be x minus 1 see column numbers begins from 0 and proceeds to x max if the column this column is represented as x that is if this is x then the column left of x will be x minus 1 so this pixel can be labeled as x minus 1 same row y x minus 1 y so left pixel can be represented as x minus 1 y what about the right pixel this one this was also in the same row so y does not change what about the column column is 1 greater than x so this pixel can be represented as x plus 1 y okay now what about this pixel top pixel top pixel means if this is x comma y then this is the above pixel that means y decrements by 1 0 1 2 3 y increases in the downwards fashion and if this is the y row, then the previous row will be represented as y minus 1 this is the x column and the column does not change this is also having the same column so this pixel can be represented as that means the top pixel can be represented as same column but the previous row this is the same column but the previous row so it can be represented as x comma y minus one what about the bottom pixel this one bottom pixel is also in the same column but in the next row this is x y this is in the next row if it is in the next row then y becomes y plus one so it can be represented as x comma y plus one so i just want to say we know how to select the first pixel you can select any pixel from the interior region there is no condition inside this you can select any pixel which lies inside this region so it is easy to select x y but after selecting a pixel how can we select next pixel for coloring okay so the method used for selecting next pixels for coloring is called four connected method in four connected method we select four neighboring pixels for coloring they are top left and right bottom okay so this is how if pixel is represented by x comma y left right top and bottom pixels are represented in this fashion okay now let us move on to the uh, eight connected method eight connected method says if this is the 
central pixel we have already selected a pixel x comma y if this is the pixel x comma y then instead of selecting four neighboring pixels we are selecting all the eight neighboring pixels that means top left right bottom all these four plus four corner pixels these are the four neighboring pixels top sorry uh, top left right and bottom along with these four positions we are also selecting the corner positions this position will be represented as top left this is represented as top right this is represented as bottom right and this is represented as bottom left so after selecting a pixel the method in which all the eight neighboring pixels are selected is called eight connected method so we have already seen how to represent the left right top and bottom pixels let us see how to represent the corner pixels how can we represent this pixel let us have a closer look if this is xy this pixel means which is in the previous row and previous column it is xy this pixel is in the previous row and previous column so it can be represented as x minus 1 y minus 1 now what about this one right top if this is xy it is in the previous row but in the next column previous row means y minus 1 next column means x plus 1 okay now what about these pixels this is bottom left bottom left can be represented as bottom left can be represented as uh, if this is xy then it is in the next row but previous column next row means y plus 1 previous column means x minus 1 okay now this one it is in the if it is xy then this is in uh, next column and next row so it can be represented as x plus 1 y plus 1 so in this way uh, after selecting a central pixel the process by which the eight neighboring pixels are selected is called eight connected method so in both boundary fill algorithm and flood fill algorithm either four connected method can be used to select the neighboring pixels or eight connected method can be used to select neighboring pixels one of these two either of these two methods can be used to select the neighboring pixels in using any of these two methods we can select the pixels one by one and uh, if we are using boundary fill algorithm for each pixel we are selecting it will be matched with the boundary color if it does not matches with the boundary color then the pixel will be colored using fill color but in flood fill algorithm each time a pixel is selected using four connected or eight connected method uh, if the color of the selected pixel is matched with old color then it is replaced with new color so this algorithm boundary fill algorithm is used to fill a region for the first time and this is used to refill uh, a region with a new color okay so this is uh, all about the two algorithms boundary fill and flood fill thank you if this video content seems to be useful then please like and share this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon.